What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to a video explaining how to most efficiently farm packs on the World Cup mode. On the screen right now you're going to see a few things. You're going to see my team, you're going to see me at the start of a brand new tournament and you're going to see me go through two group stage runs whilst we talk in great detail about the best most efficient way to farm uh, packs and farm coins from the World Cup mode and we're going to talk about why, when, how, what, where, how, when, why and where and what and so on and so forth. I was umming and ahhing about making this video because it's very obvious and very easy for people that I engage with on a day-to-day -day basis to understand what what to do to farm packs, right? You know, if you play FIFA every day, if you're a content creator, if you watch content creators all the time, then you're going to know the most efficient way to get packs out of the World Cup mode anyway. But if you're brand new to FIFA or brand new to the World Cup mode, if you didn't play the World Cup mode four years ago, if you don't know how the reward structures work, or if you've just come back to FIFA after several months out because you wasn't enjoying fuck but you love the World Cup mode, um, this video is going to explain to you, as I say, in great detail how to farm the, the packs most efficiently and I'm going to explain um, why you would want to do it. So before we get into that, if you guys could drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. Share this video if you can with your friends if you wanted to know how to farm the World Cup. And the, the first thing to say is that the idea behind the World Cup game mode is to win the World Cup, right? You, the whole purpose of, for me personally anyway, the whole purpose of the World Cup game mode is to see if I can win the World Cup. I wasn't sure how hard it was going to be to win the World Cup in the FIFA 18. Um, obviously through foot champs and, and through divisions and in regular foot right now, the, the game mode is super, super competitive. So when you go into a tournament mode that not only has a group stage but also a knockout stage, I was expecting it to be remarkably difficult. However, because of several reasons, it's actually the, the, the general quality of play in the World Cup online is super low, specifically in the group stages. So I don't know necessarily if the knockout stages are um, seeded or not. Um, if you don't know what that means, that basically means if you're in the quarterfinal, you play against somebody else in the quarterfinal. If you're in the semifinal, you play against somebody else in the semifinal. I don't know if they're seeded or not. I assume that they are. Maybe I'll do some tests to, to check that out. But in the group stage, it's random. So you play against three absolutely random players. And because there's no qualifying threshold in the World Cup like there is with foot champs via qualifying through the DKT or Division 1 or Division 2, the, the pool of players that can play the World Cup is massive. So you can come up against absolutely anyone. And because of how easy it is to get players and to get packs in this game mode, um, it's a lot of fun to play for a lot of people. You can spend as little as fifty to 100,000 coins and still have an incredible team. The team that you see on the screen for me right now, I've spent about 300,000 coins to have this team. I have exceptional players. My reserves are exceptional as well. I could also feel like an incredible um, European team as well as an incredible South American team. I've got a couple of huge icons in Laurent Blanc and uh, Bobby Moore. And I've got players like Neymar, Aguero, Firmino. Um, you know, I've basically got like a multitude of insane players. And you get that through a very limited amount of coins spent. Of course, then you get to open those packs back on the main, main uh, FIFA Ultimate Team. And then you get it through grinding. And a lot of you guys might be coming to FIFA and, you know, you don't want to spend FIFA points and you don't have coins to spend. So what's the most efficient way for you to do it? Well, the most efficient way, because of how the rewards go, is to qualify out of the group and then forfeit the tournament. And you'll see here, I actually do it twice in a row. And my total game time is really, really small because of the amount of rage quits I get. I think I got two rage quits in my first run and two rage quits in my second run. And I actually streamed on Facebook today, which if you don't know, I stream on Facebook. Link will be down below, but it's uh, facebook.com slash Nepenthes with the H and the E the wrong way around because somebody else took Nepenthes. Um, but uh, in two hours, I managed to go through the group stages three times. It was actually under two hours, it was like one hour, 40 minutes. I got through the group stages three times. And the reason why it's most efficient to play through the group stages and then forfeit the tournament instead of going to the World Cup final is because of the fact that the, the rewards for the group stage is one and a half thousand coins and one seven and a half K pack, plus you will get three individual single packs. So to rinse it twice, to go through it two times, you'll get six single packs, two seven and a half K packs and uh, 3,000 coins. And that's from six games. And you might even be able to do it in four games. We'll get through that in a second. You might be able to do it in four games. When you then go to the knockout stages of the World Cup, if you win in the first knockout stage, you only get one single pack. 
if you lose, you only get one single pack. That's true for the quarters and the semis. And in the final, if you lose in the final, let's say you make it all the way through the tournament and you end up getting to the final, and let's say you lose on penalties or you lose in the 120th minute or the 90th minute, you only get one single player pack. However, if you win the final, and right here on screen you see me win the group, nine points for me, two, four, second, third and fourth, and so now I forfeit the tournament. And the beautiful thing would have been there is that I could have actually just rage quit the third game without even playing it and I would have qualified through the group. We'll get through to that in a second as to why or why not it may be uh, relevant or irrelevant. Um, and yeah, basically you can get to the final and lose and, and it's just not worth your time. Now, of course, if you win the final, you get two seven and a half K packs and 15,000 coins, which is quite big because with those 15,000 coins, you can buy two more seven and a half K packs and then you also get those two more seven and a half K packs in regular Ultimate Team. So if you're good enough at this game, where without any shadow of a doubt you will win the World Cup every single time, you should probably go through to the final and win the final. But, as I said, there's a massive pool of players in this game now that aren't very good at FIFA or are new to FIFA or have just come back to FIFA or don't have the team quite as good as their opponents are having that want to know the best way to get the best team the quickest without spending any money. It's not to be done through draft. It's not to be done through online draft. Anyway, it can be done in the offline World Cup. It's just boring. Uh, not only is it boring, but you don't get rage quits offline. One of the greatest things about the online uh, World Cup group stages is that rage quits come thick and fast. And again, we're into the second time of me doing this now, and we get ourselves, I think, two rage quits, and then we play the full game, the third full game in the full game. So, if you rage quit the third game, if you win your first two games, if you get six points out of your first two games, specifically if you have a really high goal difference, you can just go into your third game, score an own goal and quit, and you'll still qualify. And it just saves you that 15 to 20 minutes. Now, the downside to that is, is that you don't get the single player pack if you quit a game. You only get the single player pack if you finish the game. Whether you win or lose, it doesn't matter, but you only get it if you finish the game. Um, the reason why that could be important is because even if you don't get anything good out of those single player packs, which I typically don't personally, once you get 11 of those, you can put them into a European or South American upgrade pack and you can get yourself three European or South American players and that might also help your, your team. So, you know, like I said, you can do like a group, uh, you know, one group of three games. You can do it generally in like 40 minutes or less, sometimes maybe up towards 45 to 50 minutes as a maximum and you'll get three packs. So every, every now and then you'll have enough trash bag players to grind into an upgrade pack. And the reason why you'll get there even quicker than doing it through 11 games is because after three games, you get the seven and a half K pack, which contains five players. So basically every group run that you do, you get eight players out of that. And if all of those players are useless to you, you can just farm them in the upgrades and then start again. So the reason why you might wanna just play through your third game all the time is because, well, A, you might need the points and B, the single player pack it can be handy. It can be worth it. The thing that I've been doing is that in my game three, if in my first sort of 15 to 20 minutes of game time, I recognize I'm the much better player and I can try and get a rage quit, I'll play through and I'll try and get a rage quit just so that I can get that extra player pack. If, however, after 15 to 20 minutes, I recognize that this is going to be a tough game, it might go all the way, I'll typically just score an own goal, pause it and quit. Now, you don't have to score an own goal if you quit, but it's just nice to give your opponent the three points. Now, when you look at the table here again, uh, my opponents have three zero and zero points. So I'm pretty much guaranteed to go through the group it, with the six points. And the way the points work is you can qualify with a minimum of three points, but you can also not qualify with as many as six points. So if you draw three games in a row or win one and lose two, you might still qualify. However, if you win two games and lose one, you still might not qualify. And what I would love to find out, and if you guys could share with me your group stages every time you go through or don't go through the groups, I would love to see the point totals of your points compared to the other points. Because I, I don't know if EA are working the group system because it's always one, one game behind on the groups, right? And I don't know if they do that so that 
if you're struggling, they still kind of put you through, right? So if you like draw your first game and lose your second game, does it also give them just lots of draws in the rest of the game? So by winning your third game, it will put you through on four points. Or is it a situation where you can't even qualify after two games? See, I would love to know that because that will dictate heavily whether or not you should quit all the time after you get six points after two games. And I've always found that as long as your goal difference is strong, you should probably just quit the third game if you want it to be efficient. But obviously, if you want that single pack, then that's how you get that single pack. So here we are into game six so far, guys. So six games, two individual tournament runs. Now, bear in mind, if I was playing the actual World Cup through, if I didn't quit any, if I didn't like forfeit and reset the tournament, this would be our semi-final had we won every game. So we would still have to play one more game and if we won that, only then would we get the best rewards. But if we lost that, or if we lost any of those uh, group stage games, sorry, knockout stage games up until this point, we would have got nothing for it. We would have got nothing to show for it, uh, other than the single player pack, which again, I just personally don't think is necessarily very valuable. So by playing through the group stages twice, what we're gonna get, and you're gonna see me open it now, is we're gonna get the 3,000 total coins, six total player packs, and two seven and a half K packs. And for me, that is great, great value. I, I rate that value a lot, especially with how good the pack weight is in this game mode and how, again, generally easy the competition is within the group stages, it's good. Now you might be thinking, you know, you're a good player, you've got a good team, of course you're gonna be smashing these guys about, but I specifically left in the games and the gameplay of every video there, uh, of every game there, because I wanted to, to show you that even some of those incredible teams that I came up against, I still slaughtered them. I came up against one guy that had Prime R9 and Ronaldo and he quit at 2-0 after 8 minutes. Having a good team in this game mode doesn't, just genuinely doesn't make you a good player. So don't come up against those super teams and think to yourself, oh god, I'm in trouble here. Just play your game, play safe, make sure you've got your tactics, your formation on point and just play your, play your natural game. And if you can't get out of the groups with, you know, four, five, six points per time, maybe then it's time to start working on your FIFA skills before farming packs. So our first good pack comes in, guys. We get a Brazilian centre-back. It is Thiago Silva. So straight away, I've only grinded the group stages two times to this point in this video, and we've got one already incredible player in Thiago Silva, and he will fit into almost everyone's team. He won't fit into my team because I've already got two icon centre-backs, but if I didn't have those two icon centre-backs, you can rest assured that that Thiago Silva would slot straight into my team. Sadly for me, the single player packs just generally are never effective and never efficient. However, for you guys, I've seen some people get so much incredible luck out of those packs. I just don't have that luck. My best luck has come out of a few of my draft packs. I've got Neymar in one of the packs. I've got a few other packs here or there. But all of these trash bag players that I'm picking up, don't forget... So far, this is our sixth single player pack. We've got five thin packs that are terrible players and one Thiago Silva. So straight off the bat, we've got one incredible player in Thiago Silva and five players that we can now put in an upgrade pack with all those trash bag packs. Our first 7.5k pack was great. It gave us a ball player, a big ball player. It was a cam. It was James Rodriguez. So not only do we get a nice big James Rodriguez, but we get a few more players that we can put in our two upgrade packs. We get contracts and fitness cards that saves us having to spend money on contracts and fitness. Not that fitness is even a thing anymore. The fitness cards are so cheap, you could buy them for 200 coins and of course they translate between uh, the two. And the other beautiful thing about rinsing the group stages and then going again is that when you get that 7.5k pack every three games, you can open it and then you've just got constant unlimited consumables for no cost which is great. And then our final pack, guys, we get another ball player. It was another uh, Colombian. I thought, oh no, is it going to be a Hamas Rodriguez again? It wasn't. It was Davidson Sanchez, which is great. So guys, I played six games. I got three or four rage quits. It didn't take me much longer than about an hour and a half to do all of that. We got some great cards, some great coins, some consumables. We improved our club and we had a lot of fun doing it. That, guys, is the most efficient way to farm packs in FIFA 18 World Cup mode. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.